Tonight, right here on Channel 9, 2020 gave you new insight into Ted Bundy's vicious past and crimes from the 70s. Two decades later, a serial killer here in Charlotte terrorized the community as well. A man that victims never saw coming, someone who hid behind friendship before then revealing himself to be a monster. Our veteran reporter Glenn Counts covered the capital murder trial of Henry Wallace back in the 90s. Tonight, he sat down with the family of Wallace's final victim, still carrying the weight of that loss all these years later. Henry Lewis Wallace moved to Charlotte in 1991. What soon followed was a wave of death and grief unlike anything this town has ever seen. And first degree murder, rape and robbery of Deborah Slaughter. Linda Moore is the sister of Deborah Ann Slaughter who was Henry Wallace's last victim. She missed uh, our children graduating from high school and our niece's wedding. Only the grace of God got us through it and we went through it day by day, one step at a time. Lovey Slaughter is Deborah's mother. Wallace confessed to killing nine women, but police believe there are at least two other victims, and they didn't figure out that there was a serial killer at work until the very end. They had not identified the suspect, but warned the public. Deborah was still alive and was scared and was thankful when a familiar face appeared at her door. Henry Lewis Wallace. She didn't think twice about opening the door because obviously he had always been very nice to her. In his taped confession, Wallace revealed other victims thought the same thing, that this was a man they knew, a man they trusted, and in many cases worked with at fast food restaurants, never realizing he was a monster. I did see her body, you know, at the funeral home, uh, and I saw what he did to her. It, he just mutilated her body. Slaughter was stabbed 38 times, a terrible burden for her family, especially her father, Alfonso, who passed away seven years after the murder. I think he kind of blamed himself because he was the dad, and he, you know, your dad wants to accept, want to protect the children. And I think it was very, very hard on him. And I don't think he f could forgive himself, even though he didn't have anything to do with her death. The family is speaking out now because they don't want their loved one to be forgotten. She has a name. Her name is Deborah Slaughter. And uh, Deborah Slaughter has a family who is still missing her a lot today. Wallace was given nine death sentences. He has been on death row since 1997. All of his appeals have been shot down, but right now there is no word on when his sentence might be carried out. In East Charlotte, Glenn Counts, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. Of course, Deborah Slaughter and all of those women deserve to be remembered. You can find more of our past stories about Henry Wallace by searching at WSOCTV.com. And we've also put together a special about Ted Bundy. You can find that on our Amazon Fire, Roku, and Apple TV apps. And that special is airing Saturday and Sunday at 3.30 and 9 p.m.